Hey, job seekers, and welcome to episode three of the Jobs Plus Jobs Cast. The Jobs Cast is our virtual fair where the premise is pretty simple. We're going to check in with a local empo- employer that has some immediate openings, and we're going to kind of pull back the curtain a little bit and chat with an insider on some you know, culture things, pay, hours, benefits, and more. And uh, we're so excited to have you today. If you have any questions uh, for me or for the employer throughout the the time together, uh, just drop that in the chat box and we're going to do our best to kind of bring those in at the end and uh, and get those answered for you. At Jobs Plus, we believe in what we call empowerment through employment. And it's our goal to inspire our job seekers to gain the freedom and power to become who you want to be as you discover self-sufficiency through the work that you're paid to do. That feeling of empowerment doesn't always just happen, though. One of our job coaches told me the other day that that we have to actually reach hard in the direction we want our lives to go. Uh, And if you think of life as kind of this uh, front stage and backstage, there's a a front stage of a show that tells a beautiful story with costumes, lights, music. If you've ever been to uh, a play or 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 a production. But in the meantime, there's so much activity and chaos the, in, in the backstage. There's, there's darkness, there's moving props, you're tripping over things. People are, are running around and, and uh, a lot of times what we end up doing is we compare the backstage of our lives to the front stage of somebody else's. And uh, you know we have to remember that that stage has been carefully curated while their backstage is likely pretty similar or just as cluttered and messy as our own. So today we're gonna ignore everyone else's front stage and we're gonna stop comparing us to anybody else because the only thing I want you to compare yourself to is who you were yesterday. If you're 1% better than who you were yesterday, you are already winning. So today is about pushing and reaching hard in the direction of empowering yourself by reaching for that employment goal. So with that, we're gonna jump into today's conversation. We're going to be exploring the hospitality industry with Melissa Hughes, General Manager of Homewood Suites by Hilton in Liverpool who has a number of roles that they're hiring for across their e hospitality group portfolio. So I'm gonna bring Missy on the screen. And uh, Missy, tell us a little bit about the hotels locally that you're hiring at and really what you love about working at Hilton. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Um, so e Hospitality Group is a, uh, a locally owned and operated a franchisee right here in Liverpool. Um, they have six hotels in their portfolio right now, a Hampton Inn and Suites, a Homewood Suites, a True by Hilton, a Comfort Inn and Suites, um, a Super 8 by Wyndham, and a Hampton Inn. Um, the Comfort Inn and Hampton Inn are both located in Watertown, New York, and the other four hotels are located right here in Liverpool. Um, so like I said, we're franchisees of Hilton, Choice and Wyndham Corporation. Um, and That's really next. great. I've pulled up your PowerPoint onto the screen so everybody can see it and they're seeing your brands. Um, you've got a, a number of positions that you're hiring for right now. Can you tell us a little bit about some of those? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, well, first let me um, just kind of go through quick and tell you about our hotels. Um, the ones that we're hiring at anyway are right here in Liverpool. We've got the Homewood Suites by Hilton is up there in the upper left-hand corner. Then True by Hilton, Hampton Inn and Suites, and the Super 8. And they are all located right here in Liverpool um, within a mile of the crossroads of Buckley Road and 7th North Street. Um, So we're very centrally located and that's by design. So we're very easily accessible for guests who are traveling off of 81 and the Thruway. Um, But it's also very convenient for our employees who are traveling to work by those means. Um, And we're also, all of our hotels are located on a bus route. So um, just a couple little quick tidbits. Um, The different hotels uh, that we have available that are hiring right now is the Homewood Suites by Hilton, Syracuse. Um, And then there's a couple pictures there for you guys to, to look at to kind of see what the hotels are. Each brand is kind of geared towards... Um, a a different niche of traveler. So the Homewood Suites, for example, is an all suites hotel um, that caters to an extended stay guest, somebody who's traveling for, you know, five nights, anywhere from five nights to, you know, who needs a place to stay for a couple of years even. Um, We have, you know, mini apartments, uh, we're all suites. And then of course, like any hotel, we have different amenities. We have an outdoor pool, we offer breakfast, 
We have fitness center, business center, things of that nature. Um, our True by Hilton is a, um, it's a mid-scale brand. It's actually brand new. The, whole, the brand itself is only a couple of years old and it's very new. It's very fun. It's geared towards the millennial traveler. So um, you can see the bright colors. It's very minimum. Um, and it also has breakfast, fitness center. Um, but like I said, it's geared towards the younger traveler. So their lobby is always decked out in um, uh, fun, vibrant colors. There's games that the team is encouraged to actually play with guests. So in the one picture there, you can see there's like a foosball table. Um, and in the other picture down there, you can see there's a Connect Four game. So it's definitely a very fun and youthful brand. Uh, then we have our Hampton Inn and Suites by Hilton, um, Syracuse North. And that hotel is also only a couple of years old. Um, the Hampton Inn itself as a brand is not, is not new. Um, but the hotel itself is, and, um, it's another upper mid scale brand. Um, and we have different amenities there as well, including breakfast. Um, we have a small sweet shop or treat shop, they call it. Um, there's an indoor pool with a whirlpool, meeting room space, um, and fitness center, business center, all those kind of basic amenities. And then the fourth hotel that we have is actually a hotel. It's not a Hilton property. It's a Wyndham property. Um, and that's our Super 8. It's a budget-friendly hotel. Um, so it's a little bit basic, uh, you know, trim away all of the fat, and you're left with a very basic hotel room, um, clean, has what you need, and a, a basic continental breakfast as well. Um, what I love working about Hilton is that Hilton really – empowers us to um, be the best that we can be. Um, so the six core values that Hilton has, as you can see on the screen, is hospitality. We're very passionate about very passionate about delivering exceptional guest experiences. We all have we try to practice integrity and always do the right thing. Uh, Hilton's always been a leader in its industry, very innovative, very ahead of the times. Um, so not just as hotels and brands, but as individuals, we try to be leaders in our industry and in our communities. Uh, teamwork is a big, huge thing here at all of our prop properties. Um, we try to work together and make the job easier for everyone. Um, ownership, we're the owners of our actions and decisions and, and every team member from the person working at the front desk to the person working in housekeeping, we all take ownership of our actions. We're all empowered to make decisions that will help our guests and help our employees. Um, and now, uh, the now stands for, you know, just that we, we try to operate with a sense of urgency and discipline and not just when that comes to helping our guests, but also when it comes to helping our employees. Um, I love the Hilton brand uh, because we have a lot of fun here and because we're we're franchised and we are a family owned and operated group of hotels, um, there's benefits that come with that and uh, we just have a ton of fun. We love to celebrate each other. Um, we love to recognize the hard work that the different roles in the hotels do. Um, you know, we like to have fun at birthdays and holidays. Um, you know, you can see a picture there in the center with, uh, that's Lewis the Duck. He's actually the Homewood Suites mascot. Um, but he goes to different schools and he does book readings with children and he hands out free books. Um, he's actually got a whole series of, of children's books that are written about him. Um, and we just have a great time. It's a really really fun atmosphere, very family friendly atmosphere. We all feel like we're not, we don't just go to work every day, but we're part of another family. Everybody calls their hotel kind of their second home, uh, whether they spend a lot of time there or not. So, um, so that's what I, what I love about, about working here. Um, so some of the different positions that we have available right now, um, you can see on the left side of the screen there, you know, what will I be doing? So we have guest service agents and night auditors. 
That's our front office team. Those people work the front desk area. The guest service agents work um, from 7 a.m. to um, 11 p.m. Um, I mean, obviously, they don't work a 16-hour day, but but they would be working some type of time frame during that time period. And then the overnight shift is called our night audit team. And they're the ones who come in, close out the day, get ready for the next day. We are a business that operates 24-7. So um, there's always somebody here uh, and we always have staff at our hotels. Um, and then the next group of positions that we have available are our housekeeping department. Um, housekeepers, they're the ones who are going in and cleaning the rooms. Our laundry attendants are obviously, uh, you know, washing, drying, folding all of our sheets and towels and um, room inspectors go in after the housekeepers are done cleaning the rooms and put the final touches on everything. Um, and right now, especially our room inspectors are the ones actually doing the disinfectant part of the cleaning process um, due to COVID. And we also have house people and shuttle, and they also drive the shuttle. So, and our house persons, um, they're responsible for kind of going around the hotel. They sweep and mop, they clean the public areas, they take out the trash, things of that nature. Uh, when we're not in the middle of a pandemic, we all of our hotels do have some sort of a, a complimentary breakfast option. Um, so we do have breakfast attendants that we are looking for. And um, all four of our hotels also have maintenance technicians on site. Um, when will I be working? So being that we're a 24-7, 365 day a year business, um, we're able to offer all of these positions very flexible scheduling. So so most of those jobs um, can be full-time or part-time. Uh, they can be seasonal. Um, if you're wanting to work days, we have day shifts available. You want to work evenings, we have evening shifts, overnight shifts. Um, you just want weekdays, you just want weekends, you want a combination of both. Um, and depending on what position you sign up for, you can be working anywhere from four-hour shifts to eight-hour shifts. Um, so we have a little something for everyone. And again, because of that flexibility that we have being a 24 seven business, we can kind of accommodate and work with pretty much anybody. So that's one of, one of the benefits. Um, so those are our, our positions that we have available right now. That's great. Tell me a little bit about the process kind of from beginning to end on, um, from application to onboarding, how how long can people kind of anticipate to be in that that queue, and what are some of the stages that you guys tend to go through? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I I put up here on on the screen the um, how do I get started slide. So basically, uh, people can apply in person, online. There's a text message option, or you can email your resume. Um, once we filter through all of the applications. Uh, you'll be called in for an interview. The interviews typically, um, you're going to meet with at least one, possibly two different managers from the management team. And that depends on which hotel you're, you're applying at. Um, we don't do drug tests or background checks, um, but we do run a motor vehicle report um, if you are applying for a position that will drive our shuttle van. Um, after you're hired, uh, Orientation typically is about three to four hours on one single day. Um, and that includes, you know, going through all of the paperwork, um, signing tax forms, getting your direct deposit signed up, um, reviewing parts of our handbook together, going over your job description, all of the all the paperwork aspect of, of signing on to, to get a new job. Um, you'll get a tour of the property that you're going to be working at. Um, and you'll also be setting up your accounts for the property management system, for being able to clock in and out on our time uh, timekeeping system. And uh, you'll also get added into the rewards program for the particular hotel that you're working at so that you can start using your employee discount. Um, you'll also complete some safety training and get set up to do computer-based training if that's applicable for the hotel that you're starting at. So if you do work for one of the Hilton properties, the Hilton properties all have computer-based training that you'll be doing depending on the position you've signed up for, depends on how much of it. So if you're working at the front, front desk, there's a significant amount 
significant, much more amount of computer training than if you're just in housekeeping. Um, housekeeping, you're not really using a computer all day, but you will do some computer-based training just to watch some videos and to learn some basic fundamentals of the brand that you're going to be working for. Um, and then once your orientation is done, you'll actually be signed up with a training schedule and you'll be working with another individual at the property. Uh, training begins and training requirements are, they vary depending on the position um, that you signed up for. So um, it, your training period can be anywhere from three weeks to 12 weeks, depending on the role that you were hired for. So that's great. Hope I answered your questions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one yeah. question that did come in through the chat. Uh, you mentioned the shuttle driver. Uh, is that a CDL requirement for that? No, it isn't. Okay. Just, just a basic driver's license. Great. It has Thank to you. be New York state driver's license. Perfect. So if you're from out of state, then you'll want to get that updated to, to New York City. Okay. If, uh, if you do have any more questions, please drop them in the chat. Uh, we're going to uh, let Missy go here in just a minute, but uh, I just wanted to, you know, ask you, Missy, you know, you, first of all, I, you know, the, the true brand sounds exciting and very fun. Um, yeah. And, uh, and I love too that, that Hilton really incorporates uh, a lot of the local stuff um, you know, from New York that, that is completely not just even regional, but, uh, I think the true over by my house has like even some of the, the high school sports involved in, in some of it, which is just really incredible. Um, oh, yeah. so it just sounds like a great environment and a ton of, of roles. Um, what if, if somebody is in the company, what are we looking at in terms of what are opportunities to grow or to, uh, be more involved there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, I feel like the hospitality is a great environment for people to start their careers in uh, with virtually no experience and no ed formal education required. Um, so and actually, I think I had a slide back here. Let me just... Um, yeah, so uh, some of the benefits that I think that you'll get from from working in, in the hospitality industry is, um, you know, over here under the pay scale section, you can see, you know, what our what our starting pay runs at, depending on the the position that you signed up for. So if you're coming in with some more experience, obviously you'll be paid a little bit more, but you don't have to have any experience. I started working here; I had no front desk experience, and. Um, when I started working here, I worked at this front desk for a couple of years. Um, I eventually, uh, I did really well at that and eventually moved on to become a manager. Um, and then I oversaw the front desk here. I was a front desk manager for a while and I did well at that. And then they gave me a little bit more responsibility and I started overseeing the housekeeping department. And I was became operations manager overseeing those two areas of the hotel. Eventually, after a few years of working really hard at that, uh, I was promoted to assistant general manager and oversaw all of the operations at the hotel, um, from maintenance to food and beverage, um, still housekeeping and front desk. I mean, I wasn't the, the direct manager. I had managers underneath me, um, you know, directly overseeing those areas, but um, and then after doing that for a couple of years, I was promoted to general manager. So I came in, I didn't have a college degree. I didn't have any experience. And, you know, let's see, what was, what was the time frame? It was probably about, you know, seven or eight years. I went from being the front desk agent to being the general manager of the hotel. And, um, I was given all the training I need. I, it, none of it cost me a dime. I was, um, able to learn from my managers that worked above me. Um, eventually, once I became a manager, I was able to go off site and do some different time, types of training programs. But, um, but we really embrace teaching people how to grow. Um, you know, I love it when we have housekeepers, they're very timid, they're shy, they 
maybe English isn't their first language, but they eventually come out of their shell a little bit and then they learn how to be working in the breakfast area and talking to guests a little bit more and, and getting a, a little bit out there more, or they cross train to the front desk area. Um, or we've had people that uh, don't just cross train within their own hotel, they actually cross train across our portfolio. So they might work at Homewood one day a week uh, and then work at True a couple of days a week. So um, there's tons of cross training available, tons of opportunity to grow and learn, um, you know, and, and our pay scale also reflects the skills that you're learning and the value that you're adding to the company. So if you are the type of individual that wants to come in and not just work in one area, that's actually going to benefit your pay because anyone who's adding more value to the company because we can ask them to work in housekeeping today and now we need somebody at the front desk today and tomorrow our shuttle driver called in so we need some help there. Um, that person's going to have an opportunity to earn more per hour because they're adding more value to the company. So. Um, so hospitality is a great place to learn and grow and start. You don't have to have any experience. You don't even need to speak English when you start. Um, and, and, and we love to train people and get them, get them rocking and rolling and, and watch people come out of their shell. And I never in a million years thought I would be doing what I'm doing today. Um, and working with, uh, managing, help managing six hotels when I first started at the front desk. So there's a ton of, ton of opportunity here. I know, uh, obviously, you know, the economy, travel, everything is opening up right now at just a breakneck speed as, as uh, government tries to, you know, boost the economy and people are getting vaccinated. Uh, so I'm sure that's a big part on why you're hiring. But also that means that, that employees are, are coming into contact with more and more people from out of town, out of state. Uh, you know, you guys are, are using some great products to keep everybody safe. You're masking up uh, in the yes. hallways. There's a lot of options for um, for people to to uh, essentially not have the room cleaned until they're done unless they absolutely right. need it. Um, and, uh, and digital check-ins. So you're minimizing a lot of that interaction uh, while still you know, serving the guests with excellence, I'm sure. Um, just a couple of things that we're also doing is trying to make sure in some of our public areas that we have limited guests around. So uh, right now for like our pools and our fitness centers, there's actually reserve, those, are, those areas are um, to be used by reservation only. Um, and also all of our hotels we are not doing our full breakfasts right now uh, where we put out a full buffet and, and guests come down and serve themselves. We're, we're not allowed to do that right now um, uh, per the county instructions. Uh, so we're all doing, we've all kind of switched up our game plans and we're all offering um, bagged to go breakfast for people um, and everything's an ind individually wrapped item that we can offer the guests. So, um, so there's a lot less interaction with people than there would have been before. Um, but yeah, that, so those are a couple more, more things that, that I, I didn't think to add to the, to the sheet here. Oh, that's great. Um, lead us out now with, with where do we go from here? How do we get these amazing jobs? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so down here, I have um, a how to, how do I apply section? So the the number one thing i would always suggest is if you're able to just get your foot into one of the hotels um it's a great opportunity just to kind of see where where you're going to be working each hotel has a different personality as you may have been able to pick up from some of the photos that i showed earlier but um you can walk in and if you come in during the daytime hours um you can almost be guaranteed to get an on-the-spot interview we train all of our managers that if somebody comes during the day to apply for a job stop what you're doing and take a few minutes to meet with them so we really encourage that so if you're able to actually get your foot in the door uh, bring a resume with you if you don't have resume we have applications ask the front desk person if you can fill out an application and we'll get you rocking and rolling into an interview if if, if it's during the day um, you can also come in at any time of day and just ask that the application be left with the manager. Um, we also have some different websites that you can apply at depending on which hotel you want to apply for. So they're all nowhiring.com um, and depending on your hotel that you're interested in working for, we've got um, a website for Homewood Syracuse, Hampton Syracuse North, 
True Syracuse North and Super 8 Syracuse North. You can also text those hotel names to 242-424 and that will send you a link to be able to go right on to our company website and apply to those jobs. So we don't have like a main, uh, one main platform for e &M hospitality, but each hotel does have their own, their own website for you to be able to sign up and apply at that property. Um, or you can email me directly uh, if you have a resume put together. And my email is missy.y.hughes at hilton.com. That is perfect. So uh, it looks like some great opportunities, even if you just walk in the door. So that's really yeah. exciting to hear. Um, we love those opportunities where we can walk in and, and uh, if time allows, get that, that on the spot piece. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, absolutely. And just to reiterate, you've got full time, part time. Uh, I think you said kind of in you know in the green room before we were on here that you know even one day a week there's there's options for everybody. Yeah. Um, and and uh, all of those options have opportunities with with some great benefits attached to to different things. So um, very exciting stuff. Thank you so much, Missy, for being with us yeah, today. Absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna pull you off the screen now, and and uh, we're gonna close it out. But I appreciate you being here with us today. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. If you are interested in employment at any of these Hilton hotels, uh, you saw it right there. Uh, touch base with your job coach. They will have all of this information. Uh, if you weren't able to catch uh, any of the particulars on that last slide, uh, they you can catch it on the replay of this. Uh, talk to your job coach. Uh, remember, your job coaches are barrier breakers. I'm going to say it every time we do this. Uh, they are there to break down some of those barriers. If you're worried about transportation, childcare, uh, if there's a, a legal issue in your past that, that could potentially be removed from your record uh, because of age or anything else that, that happened that is now in the past, uh, talk to your job coach. They can work with you to get you exactly what you need. And uh, Missy also pointed out that there's some uniform pieces. Another thing your job coach can do is overcome some of those, those financial pieces where if you need to get a specific type of shoe or uh, uniform piece, they will know how to do that. Uh, and uh, I, I would venture to guess they will figure out a way to get you what you need. Um, because remember, we're, we are reaching hard in the direction of where we want our lives to go. Um, so today, if all that is, is reaching out to your coach, do that. Um, but you have a direction for your life. You have a way that you want to go. You're starting to get a vision for who you want to become. Uh, today is about reaching out to that. Check out past jobs casts. Look at this one, uh, but reach out to your coach today. If you don't know how to reach your coach, you can simply call 315-442-3242. That's 315-442-3242. Or you can go and visit the Job Seeker page on our website, jobsplus.org slash job seekers, jobsplus.org slash job seekers. And uh, scroll all the way down to the bottom of that page. There's a form. You can just leave them a message. We'll be sure to get that over to them. And, uh, and they're going to be happy to help you out. Uh, before you go, uh, if you found any of this helpful, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we want to make sure that you see these jobs cast. There might be something that comes up now. There might be something that comes up in the future. Uh, so if you want to be reminded, hit subscribe, hit that, that little bell, and uh, you, will, you will be informed every time these pop up. Uh, you can find all of our social media at the top and bottom of jobsplus.org. Like and follow uh, all of that. Uh, but we do want to let you know specifically if you're a Jobs Plus job seeker, uh, we have a group on Facebook that's private and exclusive just for you. Uh, so once you answer a few questions, you'll be approved and you'll be ready to go. Uh, beyond that, you can ask questions, network with the group, figure out some different things. But it's a, it's a group that is going to be really helpful and you're not going to want to pass it up. So I want to invite you to our next jobs cast that's going to be with Syracuse City School District next Friday at 2. And uh, between now and then, let's get to work.